Hey gang, welcome to your 19th Python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about modules and packages. Alright then, so now I want to introduce you to the idea of modules and packages. So imagine you're working on some kind of complex Python project and you've got loads of different functions in there, some different custom classes, tons of lines of code. Very quickly this is going to get very hard to update because it's so long. And what we generally do is split out that code into logical sections. And those sections are generally going to encompass some kind of functionality for your program. So each of these different sections would have their own Python file. And those Python files could be called upon when we need them. We can import them and then use them. So these Python files are what are known as modules in Python. So I'm going to show you how we can import a module and use it in this tutorial and we're also going to look at packages as well which is basically just a collection of modules. So first of all we have this classes file from the last tutorial. I've also created this test.py file, nothing in here at the minute and I'm going to import this functionality, this custom class from classes. Okay so how do we import something? Well, all we need to say is from, first of all, and we're telling Python where we want to import from, and I want to import from the classes file. So I just need to say from classes, and then I can say what I want to import from this file. So I'll say import, and I want to import the planet class right here. So I want to copy that, and I'm going to paste it right here. And now we've imported it. Ta-da! Very simple. Now we can use this planet class in this file. So what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom here where we created this instance called Naboo. I'm going to cut that out from this classes file and I'm going to paste it inside this file instead. So now we've created this instance of the planet within this file because we can now. We've imported this planet class so we can create an instance in this file. And what we're going to do is print out a couple of things. We were already printing out this spin method. Right now, let's print out one of the attributes. So I'll say print and then I'm going to print out the name. So this is a formatted string and I'll say name and it's going to be Naboo.name. So let's see if this works. I'm going to save this now and run it in the console. It's test py and now we get the name Naboo and the planet spins and spins at a very high speed. So congratulations, you've successfully imported a module into this file. So as your projects get bigger, you're going to obviously import different modules, more modules, and it's just going to help you keep on top of your code much easier. So I said that packages are a collection of modules, and that's what they are. So imagine you have some kind of functionality in your program, which in itself is still a lot of work. So you don't just want to put all of that functionality into just one module. Well, then what you could do is split out all of that functionality into several different modules, but then contain all of those modules within one package. OK, so that is what a package is. I'm going to show you how we can create one. So I'm going to right click on this lessons folder, first of all, and go to new folder. And I'm going to give this package a name. So the package itself is the folder, essentially. I'm going to call this space. So this is going to contain some kind of modules to do with space. So inside this folder right here, the first thing we need to do is add an init file, which tells Python that this is a package. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to new file and I'm going to say underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py. Now we don't need to place anything in this file, just its existence right here is enough to tell Python that this right here is a module. Now what I want to do is place a couple of files in here, a couple of different modules. So I'm going to go to new file and I'm going to create one called planet.py. And this is going to contain our planet class. So let's grab all of this stuff right here and cut it from there. And I'm going to go to planet.py and I'm going to paste it right there. So now we have this class of planet inside this module within this space package. OK, right now let's create a new module inside this space package. I'm going to go to new file and I'm going to call this calc.py. And basically this is going to perform some kind of functions to calculate different things to do with space. So I'm just going to paste these functions in because I don't want to bore you with math. But essentially what I'm doing is creating a function to work out the mass of a planet. And that's going to take in 
the gravity and the radius of a planet. And this is the formula right here to work out the mass of a planet based on those two properties. And this is the gravitational constant right here. And we're returning the mass of the planet. So this is a simple function to work out the mass of a planet. Again, don't worry about the formula. This is nothing to do with Python per se. This is physics. But I'm just giving you an example of creating a couple of functions here that we can then import, right? So this is just a module. The second function is to find out the volume of a planet. And for that, we're taking the radius. So we're working out the volume here based on that radius. And then we're returning the volume. So now we have these two functions. And imagine there could be many, many more different functions to work out different values of spatial objects, right? So we have all of that functionality now within this calc module. So both of these calc module and planet modules are in the space package. Make sense? We're just containing them together. We're keeping them together because they're kind of associated with each other. They're all to do with space. All right, cool. So let's save this now. And what I'm going to do is create now an import inside this classes file. So what we're going to do is import modules from this package right here. So how do we do that? Well, pretty similar. Again, we just say from first of all. Now, where do we want to import it from? Well, we want to import it from the space package, first of all. That's the folder name. Then we want to import a module from this space package. So we want to import, first of all, planet. So we'll say dot planet. And then I'll say import. So we're saying from space dot planet. So this file import, not import. So import planet, right? That's the class name, remember. So in here we have this planet. So we're importing that from this file inside this package. Make sense? So now what we can do is we can create a new instance of that planet in here. Now I'm going to go to test.py and again, just copy this stuff from here and go to classes. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to get rid of these print statements right here though. We don't need those and we don't need this as well. So we've imported this planet from this planet module inside the space package. And we've created this instance now of this planet because we've imported it. Now what I want to do is import from this calc module, right? So we have these two functions and I want to import both of these from this module. So the way I'm going to do that is come underneath this import statement. So we can have several different import statements in one file. And I'm going to say from, and again, it's from the space package and then it's dot calc because it's the calc module. Then I'm going to import planet underscore mass. That is the name of this function right here. So I'm importing that function directly into this file right here. Now it's not just a planet mass I want to import. I also want to import the planet vol. So to do that, to import multiple things from this one module, I can just comma and then say planet underscore vol as well. So now we can use both of these two methods inside this file as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to print these two functions in here now. So I'm creating a variable called Naboo mass and I'm setting that equal to planet mass. That's the function we've just imported and we're passing in the gravity, which is Naboo gravity and the radius, which is Naboo radius, right? So they're the two parameters that this function takes and we're passing them in from this instance we've created. We're also doing the same for the volume, creating a, um, a variable called Naboo vol and setting that equal to planet vol function, and we're passing in Naboo's radius. Now remember, these two functions both return a variable, the mass and the volume. So these are both gonna be floats. So we're getting a number back from them. And they're stored now in these variables. So what I wanna do now is output these variables to the console. So what I'm gonna do now is just create a print statement down here. And this is just printing out a formatted string right here. Print formatted string. We're printing out Naboo.name has a mass of Naboo mass, which is this thing right here, and a volume of Naboo vol, which is the volume we worked out right here. So again, don't worry too much about the maths of all this. Just notice how we're importing these modules from this package into this file and then using them. So then let us save that now. And we're going to run this classes file. So I'm going to say Python and then it's classes.py. So now we see Naboo has a mass of this gigantic number and a volume of this gigantic number. So this has worked now. We've successfully imported these different things over here, these different functions and this class into 
this file so that we can now use them in this file. And just imagine if all of this code from these different modules was inside this file, it would have got very, very messy. But now we've split them all up so they've got their own files, their own modules, and we can keep on top of things much, much easier.